everyone. This is Leslie Ray. This was my Tuesday tutorial that I wanted to share with you last night, but due to some unforeseen internet connectivity circumstances, I was unable to get everything rocking and rolling. So I am sharing this with you on a Wednesday um, because it's such a cute idea. It's back to school time and I think you will really enjoy it. For this project, you need from the new release that was in July, the school digital paper pack, colored digital images of party pencil, school accessories, the school girl, and bookie worm. And you need the digital stamp, school sentiments, and then some white paper and cardstock, adhesive, a hole punch, ink for edges, two pencils, and two rubber bands. The pencils and the rubber bands are going to be our uh, binding for this book. And the, one of the hole punches you need is like a handheld hole punch that will punch a good size hole because you're going to be threading your rubber bands through it. And then um, the other hole punch can be used to make a tab for your pockets so you can stick stuff down in them. I printed originally my, um, my covers with red the red colored paper and you'll see that more closely in just a few minutes and then I printed some inside pages um, and I'm going to tell you a trick about that and uh, how which direction you want to print those I like stripes so I printed the stripe papers and then I also printed in color and in some cases the images I made a, a decorative border line around the image um, so I didn't have to do a whole lot of fussy cutting if I didn't want to. And in some cases, I went ahead and fussy cut the image and um, used it that way. So there you see some of the sayings and some of the images that I used. So here we are. And first thing I want to show you is that when you are printing your 8.5 by 11 paper, let me show you this. Here is my 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. You'll notice the lines go the length of the paper rather than across paper like it normally would. This is so that when I fold this in half like I want to for this project, my lines will go the right direction. Likewise, instead of going up and down like stripes would normally go, I printed these to go the short length so that now when I fold my paper, I have up and down stripes. So I'm going to use my bone folder here real quick and fold all of these. All of these pages get folded in half. Now, what you can do with these pages is up to you. You can leave them not glued at all and they're just a folded double page if you want to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the bottom of the pages just a real thin little bead so that I make a pocket with these pages because then I can put some of the memorabilia from the first day of school in there. Like um, we got a cute little poem, the night I meet the teacher about how to, you know, sleep tight and have a good day the next day. Um, I could put that in the page. I can put in there her um, writing from her first day. She did some writing and some coloring. And these are the red cardstocks that I'm going to use for covers and again I could keep this a pocket or I can glue it shut and I love this cardstock paper because while it's solid it has like a visual texture to it which makes it really interesting for this project and I love it and then here's the second book cover so all of these pages are going to be the same size and this is, this is going to be my cover, this is going to be my back, and then I want to put these in here so that they kind of alternate. And here's my other one. Alright, so here we go. So here are all my, my miscellaneous pages, and this is about how fat the book is going to be. So the total size of the book is eight and a half by five and a half. Okay. So let me show you how to glue. For my gluing, I'm going to use a, a 
a easy to use paper glue, um, the beacon three in one, and I'm gonna just run a little thin bead right along the edge, like so, and just glue that down. I like this for this project because it glues really fast and it stays firm. I'm not going to have to worry about it later coming back and having a gaping hole there. So I'm going to do that to the bottom of each page. And I'm not doing it to the right side because that's where the fold in the paper is, so no worries there. And I'm not doing it to the left side because that is where our binding is going to go. This set also has in it some really cute other pages. They have a page that's just pencils. They have a page that is a chalkboard, like a blackboard. Uh, would also be very cute. Um, they have a page that has apples all over it, which is too precious. And then they have um, some more solid colors and the kind of golden yellow color the blue, the green, <coughs> they have a blackboard kind of colored paper. And did I say there's one with backpacks? Because there's one with backpacks. It's very cute also. Okay. So all of these are folded for me. And now I'm going to go through and I'm going to just not really distress it, but just kind of give it some definition. Um, just a light inking. And on the cover, I'm just going to go around all the sides. And on this back side, I am going to only on the back side inside, I'm going to take my one and three eighths inch hole punch and I'm going to punch a little slot. I don't want to punch it on the front side because I don't want to show on the front, I just want it to be on the back. And kind of ink that a little bit right in there. Okay. And the ones in the middle. I will cut a hole and it's okay for those to um, to show on both sides. Now, if you are not making pockets, you don't need this hole. Okay? Just keep that in mind. No pockets, no hole. And make sure you're cutting it on the correct side. so that you're not cutting your hole down the bottom. Okay, And same thing here. I'm going to cut a hole right here for this pocket, but not on the outside of my cover. Okay, Finish inking real quick. I like these with the pockets. You don't have to use paper for the inside pages. You could use more cardstock if you wanted a heavier book. I wanted the sheets of this to kind of be more flexible, and so I went with paper on these. Okay. 
and to get your pages to print all the way to the edges without having to trim your pages what I did was I told it it was a borderless eight and a half by eleven on my printer and uh, because I was using plain paper I forced my printer by making feature selections instead of just taking the preset selections I selected the feature area where I could tell it I'm using plain paper and please um, because I'm using plain paper it's not necessary to put as much ink on the paper uh, so I asked it to do a fast draft for this or you could also do a normal for this and it would look very pretty um, but both of those accomplish the look if I was using cardstock I definitely do normal instead of fast draft but because I was doing uh, plain paper uh, the fast draft is plenty of ink and it doesn't make your paper curl because if you get too much paper on it you start having a curl issue so or not too much paper on it too much ink on plain paper and this is a bright white paper um, I think this is the Hewlett Packard paper I usually run Hewlett Packard paper through my printers um, and I like it because it is a good bright white good quality rating so it's got a good contrast especially with like these stripes so I know a lot of people ask about what kind of printers you use or that kind of thing. Um, I know many people really like the Epson. I'm a Hewlett Packard girl myself. So um, the, I have two Hewlett Packards. The one that I ran this on is just an all-in-one. Uh, I'm not sure they make this exact model, but it's a F4280 dust jet. And um, it serves me really well. And it's not really expensive. The ink is not really expensive. And um, and that's what I like about it. I have another one that is a large format printer. Uh, so I can print like 12 by 12, 12 by 18 size things. And um, that, one, that one does have more expensive inks. Okay, so here we go. I have this all completed here. The next step we want to do is to punch our holes to bind our book. And so what I'm going to use is just a regular old hole punch like you can get in the office supply. And I'm going to decide where I want my holes. So I'm going to use my ruler. I know that this is eight and a half across. And I need two holes in there. I'm going to do... I think one hole at two inches. So I'm going to, or at one and a half inches. I'm going to do one hole at one and a half inches. Now let's do one and a one and a quarter inches. So I'm going to do one hole at one and a quarter inches, and the other hole at one and a quarter inches from the other side. So it goes right there. And I'm just going to double check. I think I want them about a half an inch, half inch in. So I'm going to get right there. And again, about a half inch in on both sides. I erase this hole right here. And this one right here. So I've got it one and a quarter down. And about a half inch in. And I'm going to use my top one to be my pattern for all the rest. So. Okay. So that's going to be where I place the rest of them. And I just line them up this way when I do that. Kind of feel for where that hole is. And punch. Okay. Let's see if this this little punch it's not as snazzy as my fancier punches, but it does the job. And it just went through four pieces of paper, so we can't complain about that, can we? Not at all. Do 
these two. And in theory, by doing this this way, all your holes should line up, right? So, if you're holding your mouth right, otherwise measure all your holes, but I'm going to hope I'm holding my mouth right. Get this just so. And then here is my last hole, double checking that I'm putting it on the right side of the book, which is where the opening flap is. Okay, and there we go. So, there's that. There's this one. I flipped my pages when I put them in. Sorry. Here we go. There's everybody back together. So now, when everybody's lined up, the holes are pretty good. Yes, yes. Now here is how we do the binding. We're going to need to go up through this side. And rubber bands work great for this, and it kind of gives it that very office supply -y kind of school supply feel. Um, but if you are doing this kind of process with another book or another kind of um, another kind of project, you know, with sticks or something, you could make this a a different kind of binding. Okay, so now I'm pulling, and I'm gonna let my book kind of bend for just a second. So that I can get this through the other hole. Gotta hold your mouth right when you go through there, guys. use the other pencil here real quick to kind of help poke that in that hole. This is another reason why doing this with paper as filler is a good idea because you can you can kind of bend it that way and it will be okay. Okay, go right through those. I'm going to go through these last two pockets right here. There we go. And so what I'm doing is I'm putting it through so it holds on this side. So there's my pencil, and I went ahead and sharpened my pencil. Now let's do the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go kind of underneath my pencil right here. And put this rubber band back through. This new rubber band, not the same one, but the, the new rubber band. having something like the tip of this pencil to help poke that back through is excellent because um, as you know rubber bands will obviously be a rubber band and pop back through so this is going to go this way and here is where the fun begins hold your mouth right and pull and pull okay and get it down here.
No, I know. There's a trick. I knew there was a trick, didn't you? you? Take a piece of thread. Thread it through my rubber band. And this gives me that little bit extra that I can pull through my hole up here. Sorry, I have a piece of hair here stuck in the middle of my project. Okay, so this purple thread goes through much easier, as you see. Bring in our rubber band thread. Can you see how that is? And we're going to stick this over the tip of the pencil. And we can just pull that out. Ha ha, thread saves the day, everybody. Yay! Who does to the thread? And where I have um, pencil marks on my book for manhandling it, I'm just going to go in and erase. Okay, so there's your binding for your book. And this is fun because if you need to, you can add more pages. And, and now you are ready to come in and add your digital stamps. And so I want to show you real quick, um, because I wanted to focus on the binding of the book, I'm not going to put actual photos in. I'm just going to put some placeholders like this. Um, so I want to put on here on the cover this wonderful digi for back to school. So I'm going to use my 3-in-1 to put these on. Okay. And for back to school. If you wanted to, you could make it even more personal with the year. Okay. And now open this up. And on the front cover here, this is where I would put a picture of the first day of school of Sam with her little backpack on. Okay. So pretend this is Sam with her backpack on. And we took lots of pictures because she's going into first grade. And then I was put right here. And I'm going to put um, just a tip of glue towards the bottom of this. Because I want to be able to snug my photo in underneath it. And this would be a good way also to do this for a gift album for someone. Is to leave that just glue here and here. And leave this where someone can snug their photo in underneath. And this is my picture of her with her lunch sack and her... And all that kind of stuff. And uh, before school. Before I even get to the school. We always traditionally take a morning picture. On the next page. I'll want to put in here. Um, I'm going to school. Or going to a big school. Because that's. I took a picture of her. Outside with her school. With the title of the school. They have a big wall that says. The elementary school's name I can put that here and then I can put a picture of her by the doors here here will be her in front of the school okay and here will be her by the doors and like I said in these in these first pockets you can put things like um, in kindergarten, I know our kids all got letters from their teacher welcoming them to kindergarten. Um, you could put that in there. Or for this one, um, you could stick in the note from Meet the Teacher where she told them, you know, I'm looking forward to having you in my class this year and all that. So lots of things you can do with the pockets. Again, you don't have to use the pockets. You could just close them if you wanted to. But... So you'd have, I'm going to a big school and a couple of pictures here. And then the next thing I did 
was I walked her inside the building and I got her to her class and took a couple of pictures outside the door. Um, and I love this digi. It says teacher's rule. And you could take a picture. Um, if your teacher is available, take a picture of your student with her teacher on the first day of school outside the door. Or if the teacher is not available, uh, take a picture where you can see the teacher's name beside the door. And the teacher's rule right there. And have another picture of Sam with her teacher. And if you wanted, you could use the other space for more pictures over here or or a close-up of things or a little list that you've compiled of information about the first day of school. And then this is my favorite picture, always, 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 always. Um, obviously, my seventh grader won't let me do something like this. But... Um, <laughs> Although I might embarrass him and take a bunch of pictures when we do actually get to meet the teachers in another week. But um, I always try to take a picture of her sitting at her desk or his desk the first day of school. Um, because that's a very special moment. So this picture over here would be her sitting. And if you're making these for gift albums and you're making more than one, like you have a lot of friends in your little group or... Um, or whatever, you can make tons of these very easily by buying your digis already pre-colored. And Wendy does such a neat job of coloring them. And like, look at this one. She's even got the little white dots on the cheeks. Like when everybody colors and they put, put the little white dots on the cheeks for the kind of the digital freckle, freckles in there. Those are very fun. Um, let's see. We have, we only have two more pages. And I did one with with this guy. Love him. Party pencil. <laughs> so cute. And here you could do coming home. The day is over. I'm putting my digis on here straight, but if you wanted to do them cattywampus, that's, that's your decision. You can do that. And finally... I think I have, let's see, do I have two more of these? I don't. I want to put it over here though. Have a final page here with your student, first day of school, coming home. And reading a book. Let's see, I've got a book today for the second day of school. And have cookie wormy. Here. And the little I Love School emblem. Right here. See how fast that all went together? Because they were already pre colored. And you know, using digital papers. And the neat thing is, is you can you can print as many digital papers as you want. Um, I scrapbook with these digital papers all the time. I think they're great for scrapbooking. And so, if you scrapbook 12 by 12, print them out in a large format. If you scrapbook eight and a half by 11, um, just print them out eight and a half by 11. So, a very fun, very simple, easy way to. Um, Bind your book, which is pencils and rubber bands. I'll make a great little keepsake book for your favorite student for the first day of school. So, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. I hope you come back next week to see what fun tutorial Christina is going to have. And have a great first day of school, everybody. Thank you for coming. <laughs>